I grew up uh, out towards Gisborne uh, on, on 40 acres where mum and dad bought a, a, a property out there and uh, we bred horses from the age I was, I was about five years of age at the time I guess and uh, we bred a pretty good trotter at the time called Jerry Warra. I remember going along to the races at an early age and having a lot of success and that sort of kick-started my interest in horses. Do you think the, having given the track over the winter is going to help him? I or? think so. I don't like getting up at 5am, put it that way, but uh, I don't know, I've, I've always had a love for horses. It's uh, been, uh, I've known it for my whole life and uh, I think most people who get out to track work, even though it is early mornings and those sorts of things, it, it, it is nice and relaxing. Um, you get to feel the part of the journey um, that your horse is on. You see this morning, it's a, it's a, a really nice morning out here, nice and peaceful um, out in Mornington. Um, the environment is a nice relaxing one and um, when you've got a love for horses as well, uh, it all combines to um, be a really good outlet from footy. Uh, so I, I enjoy that, I enjoy my fishing and uh, they're, they're two things that I can really uh, relax away from footy. My sisters rode uh, horses from a, a really early age and um, I wasn't quite the, the riding type. I didn't love riding like they did, but uh, I, uh, I mean, when you, we had Jerry Warra uh, that we actually bred on our property uh, out there and uh, he was like a pet growing up. We'd go out and pat him every day and he, he'd actually, like a dog, you, you could throw the ball and he'd pick it up with, in his mouth and throw it back to you. And so when you can, can get um, or gain such a strong bond with a, with a horse at an early age, um, like I did, uh, I suppose that, that really helps kickstart um, a, a passion in it. And, and yeah, I, I suppose the love of the animal and um, the, the adrenaline of being able to race a winner and go along that journey is something that I really enjoy. I started uh, first class bloodstock with my, my sister's partner Cameron White who plays cricket uh, for Victoria and, and Australia uh, and a guy uh, who I met at, actually out at the sales, a guy called David Raphael who uh, was a, a, a broadcaster for Hong Kong racing for many years and is now a blood, bloodstock advisor and um, we just wanted to get involved in uh, helping other people share in our excitement for the industry. Uh, it's not for everyone, but I've certainly gained a lot of enjoyment out of it, uh, as have the other two, and, and we want to share that with people and help them enjoy the, the journey and the ride as well.